Hey guys, it's Heidi. Welcome back. In today's video, I'm going to put to the test and compare these two products. One is the Olaplex number no. 3 Take Home Hair Perfector and the other one is L'Oreal's Smart Bond number no. 3, which is also an at-home treatment. Olaplex number no. 3 is 28 and so is Smart Bond number no. three. But as you guys can see, you're getting over double the amount of product on the Smart Bond bottle than on the Olaplex number no. three, which is one of the things that I keep saying that I wish we get more product. The Olaplex number no. three has 100 milliliters or 3.3 fluid ounces of product and with L'Oreal Smart Bond 3 you are actually getting 250 milliliters that equals to 8.45 fluid ounces. So clearly the Smart Bond is cheaper and if it happens to do the job just as well as Olaplex number no. 3, I am all for saving some cash. Hopefully we will be able to determine if that is the case in today's video as we put these two to the test side by side. But before we begin, if you like my content, please support by subscribing to my channel. It really truly keeps me motivated to create more and more and better and better videos for you guys. I did some research and wanted to give you kind of an overview of the situation between these two products. So Olaplex came in first and they said that, you know, we have this unique revolutionary formula in which we can repair broken bonds from hair fibers that have been processed by coloring, bleaching, or heat. According to an article I found at Refinery29, L'Oreal came in and said, hmm, that is interesting. We want to buy your company and your product, your brand. And when Olaplex refused to sell, then L'Oreal came out with Smart Bond. But according to another article at Alert.com, they were in negotiations uh, for selling and Olaplex kind of in good faith shared some confidential information about the patented formula and in that moment L'Oreal decided to stop negotiations and launch their own product. And then there was this huge legal battle. Olaplex sued L'Oreal because they thought that this was an unfair knockoff do me too type of product, right? And they had these patented formulation. And L'Oreal Smart Bond responded by saying they have a formulation based on malic acid, but that they don't claim to restore the broken bonds in your hair. They just prevent them from breaking. And they say there is a huge difference with our claims and Oloplex claims because we don't guarantee that your uh, broken bonds will be restored. We're just preventing them from breakage. So certainly there is a very fine line between these two and that's why I thought that this video would be interesting because you know they're both three-step processes with a uh, number three take-home version which is the one that we're going to be comparing today and according to alert.com Olaplex ended up winning the UK lawsuit against L'Oreal. So to us that means that this could be a tube for old plugs. Although L'Oreal at the time I created this video is also ready to appeal that court decision. So that is kind of the situation between these two. They're definitely not best friends at the moment. So I guess for us uh, what is important about this whole legal battle is that these are two at least comparable formulations and that there is some chance that actually Smart Bond, which is much cheaper than Oloplex, actually does the exact same thing. I'm going to be applying Oloplex number no. 3 on my right side. You guys know that I have tried Oloplex number no. 3 multiple times as well as Oloplex 1 and 2 and 4 and 5. So basically I think I've tried every single Oloplex product that has been launched so far with very good results and I'm going to be linking all those videos in the description box below in case you guys are curious or want to catch up with what's been going on on this channel. And on the left side I'm going to be trying out for the very first time today the L'Oreal Smart Bond number no. 3. So let me give you a nice before of how my hair is currently looking. My hair is doing a lot better since I've started using Olaplex and right now I'm trying to space the time between my highlights 
and I'm just coloring my roots, not because I have gray hairs, but because my highlights are pretty light and I don't like them to be, I don't like my roots to be too dark because my actual hair color is like a level five-ish, six. So I don't like my highlights to look like there's too much contrast. That's just the thing I'm going for right now. So as you guys can see, my hair is super long right now. And the reason is that I got hair extensions sewed into my hair. Now that said, um, my hair extensions are natural hair extensions. They were originally the same color as my natural hair color, so five, six. And they have been through the exact same thing. So they have been colored, processed, and bleached in order to match Match the rest of my hair and they can totally use the this treatment as well I basically got them for length because uh, I wanted to have long hair for my brother's wedding so like I said I'm going to be applying Olaplex number three on the right side and on the left side I'm going to be applying the smart bond and I feel like that is a fair test because I feel like both sides are equally damaged. All right, so now I'm going to be jumping into the shower and I'm going to wash my hair with a neutral shampoo. So I'm not going to be using the Olaplex number four that I have. Um, basically because I feel like that would be kind of confusing both sides. I don't know. I just want to keep it super neat and, and do the best comparison possible, right? Oh, my beloved tangle teaser. The only thing I trust to detangle wet hair. Alright, so I feel like at this point both sides are equally saturated and I even made sure to clean my hands in between kind of applications that I did not kind of cross contaminate any of the sites. So I'm gonna leave these on for I'd say 20 minutes and anything above 10 minutes is all right for both products. And then I'm gonna rinse and blow dry and I'm gonna be right back. Clearly have done my makeup and then blow dried my hair really lightly. And for that I used my tangle teaser of course to detangle my hair and then I went in with my Olivia Garden Nanothermic brush and my hair dryer which I've had for like centuries and it works just fine for the sake of this video. I did not use any uh, flat irons or uh, heat protectors, hair oils, styling mousses, nothing like that. Just those tools that I just mentioned. And with the aid of these huge uh, curlers, I'm just trying to shape my hair a little bit. So here we are guys, I've kind of been touching my hair ever since I started blow drying it and I touch both sides and I touch both sides and I look at myself in the mirror and I'm trying to determine like really what I think about these two products. And before I tell you kind of my thoughts, I want you guys to really take a look at this because regardless what I say, the point of me making this video and showing you what I do thing is that you draw your own conclusions. Um, everybody appreciates things from their own point of view. So both sides of my hair feel stronger and improved and softer in comparison to where my hair was at before I applied both products. So in that sense, I guess, both products did a good job. When I was blow drying, I felt like the Olaplex side was more manageable and it just feels a little bit softer. And I know that Olaplex number three is not supposed to condition your hair, but actually when your hair is healthier, it makes sense that you start feeling it softer. Hope that makes sense to you guys as well. So I guess what I'm trying to say is that they do, like there is no significant difference between these two. It's not like it's a clear right or left. I don't see a super, super clear winner between these two. I don't feel like there's a huge difference in performance, at least based on this one experiment that I did today. But I can tell you that I am a hint 
more inclined towards Olaplex number three. If you ask me, it's not a significant difference. In my personal experience, these two feel like dupes, which would explain the lawsuit between these two products. I do believe, however, that there's a little bit better performance in Olaplex number three. I don't know why. Maybe there is another ingredient in there that is different, or maybe there is a higher concentration on this product. It's very difficult for me to say because I don't have scientific proof of what I'm saying. I'm just basing it on this comparison that I've done today. So if you ask me my opinion on what you guys should do, I'd say if you can afford Olaplex number three, go with Olaplex number three. If you are on a tight budget, you will get really great results with Smart Bond by L'Oreal. And you know, you can get really good results without breaking the bank. So whenever I am able to afford Olaplex number three, I know that I will be buying one because I always like to support people slash companies that have developed great ideas because they feel like in that way, more great ideas will come. So that's it for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this video and that you found all this information helpful. Thank you so much for watching and for hanging out with me here today. And I hope to hear from you again on my next video. Ciao.